Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics. In this part, we are going to look at control flow. At a very broad level, in any programming language, there are two types of control flows. One is for decision making and another one is for looping. In this part, we are going to look at decision making. When you write code, you don't want to execute all the logic all the time. You may want to execute some piece of code depending on some condition. That's where decision making constructs are going to help you. There are four different decision making constructs available in TypeScript. The first one is if statement and the second one is if else. The third one is if else if and the fourth one is switch case. Let's see how these works one by one. If you see if statement, you specify a condition and if that condition is met, it will execute a block of code. If the condition is not met, then it will move on to the next block. If the condition is met, it will execute that block of code and then it will also execute next block. So basically, whatever you have in this S block will be executed only if the condition is met. So that's if statement. And we also have if else. If else is basically to specify alternate path for failure of the condition. So in this case, if you see, you specify a condition. If the condition is met, this S block will be executed. If this condition is not met, this no block will be executed. In either case, next block will always be executed. So this is if else. And we also have if else if. In if else if, the condition will be evaluated. And if this condition is true, then this block will be executed. And then the execution will move to the next block. If this condition is not true, then it will move to the second condition. And if this condition is true, it will execute the S block too. And then it will move to the next block. If this condition is also not met, then it will move to the next block directly. You can add any number of else if here and you can also optionally add else block at the end of this. So that's if else if and we have switch case. Switch case is very similar to if else if. You have different conditions here. If the first condition is met, it will execute the first case block. If the second condition is met, it will execute the second case block. In all the cases, next block will be executed. So this is very similar to if else if. Let's see some example for all of these now. So I have VS code open here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable called grade and I'm going to value for this grade as A plus and then I'm going to add a if statement and this if statement will be executed only if the grade is A plus. So if I say grade equal to equal to A plus, then I'm going to print top grade. So I'm going to add another console.log here just to prove that the flow comes to this section. If I run this, you can see top grade and also after if block on the console. As you can see here, it prints top grade and then it also prints after if block. So it proves that it has executed this block of code and then it moves on to this block, which is after the if block. If I change this to something else, if I change this grade to say A, for example, then if I run this, then I'm expecting to see just the after if block because this condition is not met. So I don't expect this to be executed. So as you can see here, it just executed the code, which is after the if block. It didn't execute anything inside the if block because the condition is not met. So this is if. If else is very similar. So basically here I'm, I'm actually um, adding alternate for this condition, which is basically like either or. So if I say else and um, if I change this grade to A plus within else block, I'm going to say not top grade. If I run this because the grade is A plus, I'm expecting to see top grade and also after if block, I'm not expecting to see this on the console because this condition is not met. So let me run this. So you can see here it has printed top grade and also it has printed after if block. If I go and change the grade to A and if I run this, um, I should see not top grade and after if block. As you can see here, it has printed not top grade and also after if block. Because this condition is not met so it moves on to else block and then it executes after if block so what i can also do is i can also add else if so if i change this to else if and if i add a condition saying that uh, grade equal to equal to a and if the grade is a i want to print grade is a so now if i run this i will see grade is a and also after if block as you can see the message here but if i change this to say something like b 
then none of these two conditions are met actually so this is not met and also this is not met so it won't print either of these two messages but it will still print this message let me run this so you can see here it just prints after if block i can also add else so in this case i want to print neither a plus nor a so if i run this now i should see neither a plus nor a and also after if block as you can see here it has printed those two messages so this is if else and you can add any number of else if to it but you can have only one else block you can't have more than one else block we can convert this to switch case very elegantly so let me comment this i'm going to achieve the same thing that we have here using switch case so i'm going to say switch it's going to take grade and it's a block actually so within this block what i'm saying is i'm going to add series of cases so the first case is if grade is a plus we need to finish the case with colon then i want to print top grade we must finish the block with break otherwise it will fall through all the other cases we have defined after this so we should either use break or if this is part of a function we can directly return from here so in this case i'm going to use break so i'm going to create another case which is a if the grade is a then i want to print grade is a break and the third case is actually something like a default case so if neither of those two cases are met then I want to go to this third case here I'm going to say console.log neither a plus nor a and break break is not usually required here but it's not going to do any harm so I have a switch case now so if I run this with the grade b I should see neither a plus nor, um, nor a so as you can see here it has printed neither a plus nor a and also after if block so if I change this to say a plus plus then i should see top grade if i run this you can see top grade one of the interesting thing with switch cases you can combine more than one cases let me remove this so i have defined two cases and for these two cases i have added this message so i'm going to change a plus or a if the grade is either a plus or a then this message will be printed in all the other cases this message will be printed so currently the grade is a plus so if i run this i should see grade is a plus or a as you can see that here and you'll also see the same message if the grade is a see it prints the same message what we can't do with switch cases we can't add logical conditions here so i can't say something like if grade is a plus and also something like r b so this won't work because what it will try to do is like it will evaluate this and the result of this will be something like a boolean so because these two are non-empty strings these two will be evaluated to true and it will try to match the value of grade with true so it won't match it won't print this message let me show you what i mean so if i change this to say b then you would expect to see this message because b is added here logic uh, like we have added a logical condition here with b but that's not how switch case works actually like i said this will be evaluated and the result of this will be matched with grade the result of this will be true and true is not same as the value grade so if I run this, we will see the default block executed. As you can see, it has executed the default block. But you can combine more than one cases like this. So that's a small difference between switch case and if else if. So depending on your situation, you may need to choose one or the other. So that's it for now. I hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.